Hi guys, it's Mrs. Santiago here, and today I'm taking you through the notes for the verb gustar when you're talking about what other people like or dislike. So we're talking about people other than yourself. So I'm in your OneNote, Chapter 2, page 14, Gusta Notes and Practice with People. Going to eliminate the table of contents and make this page big so that we can take some notes. Let me just eliminate my keyboard. It's easier. Okay. Okay, guys, so Gustar talking about what other people like or dislike. Look at the sentence that was on your Schoology page. Nos gusta la música. So this guy is speaking for both of them and says, nos gusta la música. So instead of me gusta la música, which would refer to yourself, the pronoun right here has changed and it's gone to nos gusta la música. All right, so what does that mean? That's the part that tells who. So notice that gusta, gustan is not going to change. Okay, what is changing right now is this pronoun, so we know who likes. When you're talking about yourself and you say, I like, it's going to be may. But when you're talking about the person that you're next to and you want to say you like or do you like and ask the question, you're going to use te, right? So instead of me gusta gustan, it's going to become te gusta gustan. If you want to say he likes or she likes or you, like um, Mrs. Laraba likes, Okay, so you would use le for any one person. That's not me and it's not you. Okay, le. Le gusta, gustan. He likes, she likes, you like. If you're talking about a group and you want to say we like, we like dogs, you would use nos, like in the example. Nos gusta or gustan. Vosotros is os. It's only used in Spain, so we're not going to list it here. If you want to say they like or you all like, okay, they group of girls or boys, it's going to be lace. Lace gusta gustan. They like tacos. Lace gustan los tacos. So now you can see that gusta, music controlled this and made it gusta. So now how do we know who likes? It's right here. Nos would be we like. Okay, so that's changing the person. When you talk about someone else liking something, gustar works the same way. Use, you use gusta, right, when you're talking about one item, and gustan when you're talking about two or more items. How do you know who likes the item? The pronoun in front of gusta gustan changes. That's what the yellow arrows are, right? This is what we're talking about. This and this, the yellow arrows. Let's do a little bit of practice. So the first part, circle the correct pronoun in the yellow column to represent the person in the blue columns, likes or dislikes. So all I have to do, and here's the example, a mis amigos. I have to look at this and then I need to decide. If I'm talking about my friends, is that a me, te, le, nos, or lace? Okay, so I'm going to look up here. It's my friends, plural. So it's two or more people that doesn't include me. So it's going to be lace. And I can cross off these other ones. So a mis amigos, lace gustan los gatos. My friends like the cats. Okay, so now you have to look at this. So you're going to look at this part to decide what to underline or circle. The underline is going to determine the circle. May te le nos or lace. You're not going to change the gusta statement. But please note, there is this red part where the negation would go. Just so you know, if I wanted to say my friends don't like the cats, I would have to say a mis amigos no les gustan los gatos. Okay, so that's part one. This is step one. Part one, you have five circles. Be thoughtful. Don't just randomly circle. Part two. Write the following sentences in Spanish. Remember, the only thing that changes for the people is the pronoun. 
Do not use a translator. Use your brain. Okay, I'm going to help you with the first one. So I like the hamburger. I'm actually going to work backwards. So how do we say hamburger? It's la hamburguesa. Okay, because it's one hamburger, that's going to determine, right, that it's gusta, not gustan. Okay, now I have to figure out what pronoun is it may, te, le, nos, or lace to say I like. It's going to be may when I talk about myself. So the hamburger is pleasing to me, or I like the hamburger. So now you've got four to translate on your own. Be careful with this one because this one, number four, looks like number two, but in fact, number four is for friends with a plural S on the end. Okay, and that's it for this, just to practice how to talk about someone else's likes and dislikes. Okay, gracias. If you have questions, please let me know.